Okay guys, let's face it, no matter what cryptocurrency wallet you are using right now, there is a huge chance of losing access to it. You might forget your password, make a mistake while recording the secret phrase, or even lose the piece of paper with your 24 words. And I've made almost all of these mistakes while using Tangem and still managed to regain access to my funds. That's why in this video I want to tell you about the pros and cons of this wallet why this wallet is the best option for beginners and how it can increase the security of experienced crypto users. Also, I'll show you three ways to set up Tangem securely. Whether you're just starting your crypto journey or already an active user, these methods will increase the security of your crypto, even if you're already using other hardware wallets. So, let's get started. But before we dive in, why should we trust Tangem at all? I mean, it kinda looks too simple for the wild world of crypto, doesn't it? Let's break down how this thing actually works. And inside this card, there is an NFC antenna and a secure element from Samsung. It's the same chip used in credit cards, ID cards, and passports. Sounds secure, right? Now, let's talk about another potential weak spot, the app. And actually, the wallet's private key is never exposed to the phone. The app only sends a signal to generate the key on the secure element via NFC, and then the card's embedded chip generates a random private key, aka your wallet, right here. It sounds like a magic because there is no battery or any other control elements here, and we create the wallet simply using an NFC connection. Also, the Tangem app is entirely open source and verified by the crypto community, so there are no backdoors in the app. And this means Tangem has no remote access to your wallet and everyone can verify this themselves by opening GitHub and analyzing the code. And actually, one more thing. The firmware of the chip inside this card is not open source. And by the way, this is one of the reasons why crypto community is a bit skeptical about this wallet. However, the firmware has been audited by the independent Swiss security company, Kudelsky Security, and they confirm there are no backdoors or other vulnerabilities in the chip's firmware. What's more, the chip's firmware is not updatable, which means that Tangem has no access to your wallet right now, and even if they wanted to access it in the future, there is no way to update your wallet and extract the private key. Let's get real for a sec. We have an open source app, we know exactly what the card is made of, and if the chip software were open to all, everyone could make their own wallet like Tangem. That would create a lot more problems for crypto security. So, in terms of crypto security, I think it's definitely a check. And let me tell you my story, how I almost lost access to my wallet, and why I think it's really the best and simplest hardware wallet for everyone. Especially if you tend to lose things, documents, or small pieces of paper like your seed phrase. So, one day I wanted to send some USDT from my Tangem to an exchange to buy some Bitcoin. And since I wasn't so focused and serious during the setup process, I realized I couldn't recall the six-digit access code I set. Honestly, I panicked at that. I panicked at that moment because I'm used to the idea that if you forget a password, you can just import your seed phrase again and you're good to go. But there is no seed phrase, and each card has the same access code, which I don't know. But it turns out that Tangem implemented a really clever system, precisely designed for such cases. So, each card is an independent wallet that stores your private key. And the system expects you to store each card in a separate places. So, one in your pocket, one at your grandma's house, and one in a bank vault. So, even if you lose one card, you can always grab another and access your assets. So, there is no problem at all. But if you forget your access code, like in my case, you just need to have at least two cards in your hands. Then you can change the access code on one of the cards, confirming that it's really you since you know where other copies of the wallets are. Pretty clever, huh? That's why I was able to easily regain access to my wallet without knowing any passwords or seed phrases. And after this experience, I think it's safe enough for me to recommend Tangem to others. Even in such a tricky situation, I managed to recover access to my funds. So, if you're buying crypto today and will recall it in a couple years, you will still be able to access your funds, even if you don't remember anything about your wallet. The main thing is not to lose at least two cards. And that's why they have two options in their store, to buy two or three sets of cards. If you are not friends with the secret phrases, it's better to buy a set of three cards, 
This way you will have more backup wallets and more chances to restore your assets in an emergency situation. But if you will use Seedphrase while setting up, two devices are quite enough. But realistically, I just realized that using Seedphrase might not be suitable for everyone. And by the way, if you want to get 10% discount, you can use my promo code or the link in the description below, so you can buy this wallet a little bit cheaper, as well as support my channel if you like the content. So let's move on. And before we dive in into setting up the wallet, let's discuss the pros and cons of this device. Quickly about the pros. This is the easiest wallet I've ever used. I even bought one for a friend of mine who recently started actively using crypto. It's about the size of a credit card, so even my mom will understand why some magical money is stored on a credit card like this and will not accidentally throw it away like a piece of paper with random 24 words on it. There is a 25-year warranty on the devices, something that other companies don't have. It's easy to keep safe because there are no public human readable key and you can give it to anyone to store, there is no way to get access without a passcode or a second card nearby. But actually, I found for myself three downsides, and they are related to the way of setting things up. They are not critical, but you should be aware of them, so let's dive into it. The first method, which suits everyone, especially beginners, is the default one. To set up the wallet using this method, you need to take the card, open Tangem app, and press Add Wallet. Tap the card to your phone for a sec, and then press the Create Wallet button. After that, tap the card to your phone again and hold for 15 seconds. A private key to access the crypto will be generated on this card. Next, you'll need to set up a backup card. Press Create a Backup. Also, tap and hold the second card next to the phone for 15 seconds, and if you have a third card, repeat the process. Then click Finalize the Backup and secure everything with the access code. And you're good to go. But the main disadvantage of this method is that you can't add 4, 5, 6 backup cards, maximum 3. And if you initially had a set of 2 cards, you will not be able to add a third card later. So backups can only be added during the wallet setup. And finally, now you don't know your seed phrase and there is no way to export it. On one hand, you can't lose it if you don't have it. On the other hand, if you lose all the backup cards, I've got bad news for you. But hey, there is a fix for this with the second setup method. During the wallet setup, instead of the create wallet button, you should select the other options button. Then you will be able to generate a 12 word seed phrase. Make sure you write it down on a piece of paper using a pen that is hard to erase. Do not take a picture or copy it anywhere. Then repeat the process from the first method, add backups and access code. Now you can have three wallet cards plus seed phrase, which you can import to any other wallet in an emergency moment. Or if you want to have six backup cards, you can go through the process of importing the seed phrase, but already with another set of wallets. And this way you will get an infinite number of backup cards, but most likely they will work only in those groups in which you configure them. The main downsides of this approach is that your phone is connected to the internet and theoretically could have some kind of malware. This means that your secret phrase exists on this digital device for at least a couple of minutes and has a risk of being leaked. It's a very small risk, especially if you disconnect it from the internet, or in extreme cases you can use a new clean iPhone for a setup process. But there is still a slight risk, which is why the preferred Tangem setup method is without a seed phrase. And the next way to set up your Tangem wallet is by importing a seed phrase generated by another hardware wallet, for example, Ledger or Trezor. I won't judge how safe and convenient this is, because if you are using this method, you should know exactly what you are doing and take full responsibility, since the seed phrase generated by another hardware wallet will be entered through the phone interface, and if you are paranoid like me, you don't want to expose your seed phrase to devices connected to the internet. But in reality, this method has a positive side as well, because if you import your seed phrase into Tangem, you'll get more durable, more secure, and easier to store backup cards for your primary hardware wallet. Personally, I use the second setup method because I prefer knowing my seed phrase, so I ordered a set of two cards. But there is nothing wrong with the standard setup method, and it's more than secure when using three backup cards. And now that you know all about Tangem wallet, it's time to become a true crypto expert among your friends, so check out this video and learn everything you need to know about hardware wallets in general. See you there.